good day everyone uh, today the median public relations cell of i am amritsar is joined by a very special guest mr director sir of i am amritsar himself dr nagarajan ramamurthy he has agreed to take time out of his busy schedule and answer a few questions about the direction i am amritsar is going to take in the coming year so let's get started welcome sir thank you for uh, giving us your time so the first question i would like to ask to is uh, what is your vision for i am amritsar in the coming year and what programs are you planning to launch going ahead i actually want i am amritsar to be one of the preferred destination and one of the leading business schools in the country and eventually in the world we need to benchmark ourselves against the very best in the world if at all we have to put ourselves on a global landscape as a leading business school if i reflect upon the three years that we have had with about 250 students when i took over we have reached 650 students uh, currently now and we are actually hoping to go up to 800 students by the next academic year we have also launched several new programs in the past uh, mba in business analytics and mba in hr in addition to the mba and also we launched the exhibit mba program and doctoral program and we are actually working currently with uh, both nit jalandhar and iit roopert to job to launch an integrated btech mba program which is a five year program where students can uh, uh, complete the entire btech and uh, mba in five the period of five years we also will be eventually lo- launching an integrated five year mba program which is not uh, linked to any other institution but ourselves and we also have several uh, new programs uh, planned for uh, large you know certificate programs nine months to cater to the industry needs which are uh, nine month certificate programs in the supply chain and data science and business analytics and uh, general uh, management programs which will be uh, starting sometime in january february of 2023 uh, we are also developing some other new programs in uh, uh, social media marketing analytics uh, or digital marketing which we plan to launch in july from a long term perspective i would like to see the institution to be more an interdisciplinary institution providing not just business education but all on a phase like uh, economics and psychology and sociology uh, liberal arts education um, just to name a few i think that will be that will give us a wider view uh, for print in the educational landscape of our country. Okay. That sounds great, sir. Uh, and talking about, most especially about the EMBA program that we have, how is it going to cater to the need of managers in the industry? See, we have to, uh, there are managers uh, who are working full-time in companies. They have wealth of experience. And uh, most of them may have uh, degrees in other disciplines like engineering or uh, Uh, computer science or uh, even uh, liberal arts and so on and so forth i think to be a holistic manager uh, to be a well-rounded manager one needs uh, proper business education uh, finance marketing so on and so forth so the equity mba program offers the people an opportunity to get a two year full time degree uh, from my am and research uh, by spending the weekend in classroom rather than at home and uh, uh, it is as good as uh, any other regular uh, mba program that we have okay so oh, except that the eba program is uh, a few advantages they don't have to quit their job and come so they can pursue their degree right simultaneously and uh, that should help them in their career growth and personality development as well as uh, uh, the business acumen and knowledge that they plan to uh, get then uh, i would also say that this is a personal development career development opportunity for them and it saves them the opportunity cost of quitting their job and going for a two year full time degree where you have loss of income uh, plus the cost of education uh, here it allows them to pursue their uh, dreams you know without uh, that opportunity cost that's the primary purpose of that and sir uh, how will it be different than the two year regular mba offered by i am amritsar see pretty much you know the pedagogy 
the classes, courses, they are all uh, fairly identical. See, except that, you know, the see, there's a big difference. You know, you have a student who comes into the yeah, regular MBA program without much work experience, has very limited knowledge about how actually businesses function. Uh, whereas these people, uh, most of them have three years, the more than three years of work experience. I believe the EMBA uh, batch one, I think the highest work experience was something like 25 years. And the lowest was five or six years. So they have the wealth of business knowledge already, and uh, which also creates a slightly different pedagogical approach where the program content itself is designed to draw upon the, uh, their experience and break them into class, uh, more peer learning, right? And what's happening across industries. So it's a slightly different ball game uh, dynamic that we are talking about in the classroom environment. Okay, sir, that was a very detailed and thoughtful answer that you gave. And I'm sure the future aspirants and anyone watching this video will learn a lot and surely has improved. I'm a rich, sir, we can say, image in the public. So thank you for taking this time out. And we hope that I'm going to, I'm rich, sir, reaches new heights under your tutelage. Yes, sir, certainly. We also hope so. And we are confident that we'll reach that stage. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, all. Hope you're having a good day. It's been two years since the inception of the EMBA program of IIM Amritsar and as the institute is gearing up for the offline launch of the EMBA program at Delhi, let's get to know about it from the chairperson of EMBA, Professor Mukesh Kumar Jha. Hello sir, how are you? How are you Ganga Priya? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah. You, sir? I'm also doing great. So sir, why should anyone pursue an EMBA course? You were yourself an MBA student. Yes. And you understand why we do MBA program. So MBA programs are basically for people who already have domain knowledge and they want to have business understanding. So, um, and in my opinion, it's all about trust building, which you can do for your customers, which you can do for your uh, like employees and also for your uh, investors. And if they keep trusting you, they stay with you. And the, the challenge is how do you win their trust and how do you keep their trust? In my opinion, when you know that uh, I, I understand uh, my marketing, I understand my finances and I understand how to get operational efficiency. When you know all these things, the result is that you trust your moves. And once you start trusting your moves, the others who are following you, the others who are invested in you, they also feel that they can continue to do business with you. Which is why I think uh, anyone who has domain knowledge, they should also pursue MBA program, whether it is EMBA or MBA. So sir, this program at IIM Amrit, sir, the EMBA program, can you shed some light about it? What is the curriculum, the duration of the program? Uh, since we uh, know that uh, the EMBA program is open for executives and they have a decent amount of experience, our, our uh, participants have a minimum of three years of experience and uh, some of them have 15 years of experience. So we designed the program in such a way that we uh, remove some basics and fundamentals of uh, um, maybe any program and we have a 750 hours program for executives where they will attend to classroom interaction for 750 hours divided into chunks of 125 hours each term and uh, they also come to Amritsar for uh, 20 days where they can also meet their class so uh, that, that's how it's a fair mix of um, offline and online and a perfect um, program that you can pursue and you can actually think of doing. Sometimes they have this fear, can I do it? Yes, you can because it's mostly online and a bit of it is offline too. Is the program open for uh, NRI aspirants and the other international candidates as well as is there any emotion, uh, international emotion experience? See, this is an online program. Most of the content will be delivered in the online mode. There will be a small part of it which is delivered in the offline mode. 
So even if you are outside of India, you can pursue the program. You have access to LMS, you have access to library resources, and you also can join the class on Zoom. So I, I don't see any reason why you should not be able to do it from outside. And I always say that it's like, it's a program for Mumbai to Manhattan. Anybody can join the program. So, sir, in every EMBA program, the batch profile is highly valued. And tell us something about the current uh, EMBA batch at IIM Amritsar. I think this is the most important question that anyone wants uh, an answer for before joining the MBA program. So you should join the program where you have the richness of experience and diversity of experience. In that term, you find that EMBA program at IIM Amritsar is very rich. You have on an average uh, seven years of experience per participant. So in a batch of 50, you are accumulating 350 years of experience from diverse sector. Um, and, uh, and there are some candidates who have international experience. So you are accumulating international exposure and uh, diverse sector uh, and, and maybe uh, from various backgrounds, people bring some, something to add to the discussion. So uh, once you join the program, you are assured of vast and rich experience. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable insights. I hope that it will be a great add-on for all the potential aspirants. Thank you so much. Thank you, Indra. Okay, so, hi, everybody. I am Samiksha Mundra, and here we are with the students of EMBA program. And we'll ask some questions to you all so that we get to know more about the EMBA program and the, how your uh, experiences have been in the EMBA program. So, starting with the first question, I would like to ask, how is the collaborative culture at IIM Amritsar? Hello, Samiksha. First of all, thank you for having us. So uh, I'll give you a glimpse on that. So at IIM, IIM Amritsar, uh, they really encourage open communication and collaboration between participants. We are called as participants and not even students. So uh, whenever we have our classes, it also almost feels like a workshop, not, a, not like a class, because everybody is contributing, putting in their ideas. And there's also a diverse set of cohort that we have. The people are coming from different academic backgrounds. They're working in different industries. So they have their own experiences with which they share, which actually contribute to the learning. Also, a lot of emphasis is given in the teamwork from the faculty side. So which, in a way that they uh, encourage us to have group projects, encourage group study and quizzes and this other form of collaboration, like some kind of, uh, we have uh, other act partic participant activities, like uh, simulations that we do collaboratively. And also the focus is creating a leadership quality, not just imparting education. So in that way, the collaboration culture is very important and they really encourage, uh, encourage us a lot to contribute, everybody's contributing and everybody feels welcome while contributing. Um, that's very good to know that you are having a very good time. So like the, the next question that I would like to ask is that how is your experience uh, in the immersion program that you are currently pursuing? Hi, Samiksha. Uh, we had a quite exhilarating and memorable experience uh, while attending the campus module, our first campus module at IIM Amritsar. And I knew that I was officially inducted into an IIM when my phone rang with a notification of an assignment just while I landed in Amritsar. So uh, from networking uh, to discussing rigorous assignments, uh, and on the breakfast and dinner table, which was made uh, available to us at a at a comfortable stay at the Grand Hyatt, it was it was a pleasure interacting with industry professionals, having uh, a work experience of more than twenty years. Uh, it was it was a very uh, enlightening moment to attend classes in physical modes with faculties from diverse backgrounds, uh, which was followed by fun cultural excursions to uh, the Golden Temple and Jaryawala Bagh. Uh, all in all, it was uh, a lot of memories that we took back to our respective cities. Although we meet each other on weekends, uh, we still look forward to our next uh, campus mo module as much as the first one, and we hope to enjoy it uh, uh, every now, every uh, coming module. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, that's really good to know that you are having such a good experience while pursuing the immersion program. So my last question would be that how do you manage your social and family life while pursuing EMB on weekends? Hi, Samiksha. Uh, I remember very vividly that uh, in campus module, in our first campus module, director sir mentioned to us that they will be taking away two years of our lives very easily. And they have done that. Uh, in this program, the time is a constraint for everything. Like uh, we have to make best uh, of whatever time is available to us. And as the uh, course is going by, we are learning day by day better at how to do that, be it at our work, our study or social life and family life as well. And uh, in uh, as opposed to the prior belief that our social life would shrink, it has actually expanded in a way that we did not imagine. We have a friend, a uh, friend circle in our in form of our course mates now and uh, we have people with uh, different parts of the cities and some of our classmates are from abroad but it when we I, we look forward to weekend sessions to meet them and uh, they have become a part of our new lives and it has been a great journey and uh, like anubhuti mentioned campus immersion session is that one week in our calendar we are all looking forward to so yes, it is uh, the trick is to manage time. Thank you so much all for giving such an insightful learning about the EMBA immersion program. And thank you all for like giving your time. It has been a pleasure talking to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Samin. Thank, thank you for having us.